it. I got 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 it. I didn't know this was written in the 90s. You gotta do the like choreographed boy band moves. We have some more 90s songs for you today, <laughs> and we're gonna see if you recognize any of them. <laughs> I'm never excited for these 10 out of 10 times like I don't know them. I was born in like the very end of the 90s, so I don't remember any of it. I've never really listened to 90s music specifically. Everything just goes past my head. Ooh, 90s. It's either I do really well, or I do really not. More 90s songs, all right, let's do it. I think I know this. Of course I know this song. I don't think I've ever heard this song like in full. And I'll glow to the extreme. I rock a mic like a vandal. Light up a stage and watch a chump like a candle. It's definitely one of those catchy like 90s songs that just kind of like make you think of the 90s. I like it though, like I'll jam out to it. Do you know it? It's Ice Ice Baby. I don't think you know the artist. Ice Ice Baby by Ice Ice Baby by Vanilla Ice. 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 So this song actually samples the 1980s song Under Pressure by Queen and David Bowie. Oh, for some reason, I always thought they were like the same song. I'll listen to Under Pressure by Queen and it's like, I expect, I expect Vanilla Ice to start rapping over it, which is so bad because the original version is really good. Sounds familiar. I got it! 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 I wish I could say I know this, but I don't think so. Yeah, that was. I don't know. I don't know if anyone else had that reaction, but it was kind of trippy for me. She's at the forefront, and in the back, all these instruments are kind of just like flowing so melodically and like in, in, in sync to it, like it's it just, it's beautiful. So do you know it? I don't know it. No idea. I'm gonna tap out on this one. No, not even title or artist. Criminal by Fiona Apple. This is Criminal by Fiona Apple. Fiona Apple, okay. I've heard that name before, but I have like, I don't really know any of her songs. Fiona is such a like unique name, I feel like, but I don't recognize that artist. I'm a singer. And so my mom has always wanted me to cover a Fiona Apple song. I definitely know Fiona Apple. I love her voice. Can I help it if I think you're funny when you're mad? Trying hard and to smile though I feel bad. I'm the kind of guy who laughs at a funeral can. What? And what I mean way soon. This is like a really like goofy kind of song. I have a history of taking up my shirt. Okay. It's been one week since you looked at me. This was in 10 Things I Hate About You. I, I kind of like this. I'm not even going to pretend I know this one. Wow, I actually can't believe that I haven't heard of that song before. It's actually kind of funny. Do you know it? No, I don't. I have no idea what song this is. I need to listen to the rest of the song. I don't know who that is. One Week, The Bare Naked Ladies. This is One Week by Bare Naked Ladies. Bare Naked Ladies, why does this sound so familiar? I don't think I've ever heard of this song before. I've never heard of them. I liked how it was very upbeat, like fast paced, because I'm more into that kind of stuff. I knew it was by Bare Naked Ladies because they have music with rooster teeth and like a lot of their music that they make with them is like kind of like funny music. I can see why you're showing me this song. Who is this? Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> the 
this is one of those songs that like my mom will play in the car and be like, wait, this is my song back then. And then she'll like blast it. Do you know this one? I don't know it. I don't. I don't know who it's by. Unbreak My Heart? I have no idea who it's by. Unbreak My Heart? Don't know the artist. Unbreak My Heart by Tony Braxton. This is Unbreak My Heart by Tony Braxton. Never heard of her. I've heard of her, but I've never listened to her music. The Whitney Houston's, Tony Braxton's, Brandy. She's like in that group of R&B female vocalists. Whenever I like hear this style of music, I never know what like category to group it in. It's like they're kind of screaming, but they're not. He's not having a good day. I don't know what this is. I, th I think this song is cool. I There are times where I will be into this kind of music. I'm very moody in my music selection. Do you know this one? Uh, no. No. I don't know. I don't know the title, but I feel like this is Marilyn Manson. This one is called Freak on a Leash by Korn. Korn. I've never heard of him. I've never heard of the song. Oh my god. I knew his voice sounded familiar. I like some of their music, not all of their music. Lead singer John Davis actually wrote the lyrics about the music industry, which he compares to an own walking a dog. That's a trip. That's why there's indie artists now. Chance the Rapper, he raps about the same thing. Once you sign to a label, it's just, that's what it is. You're a freak on a leash. You're just obeying commands from whoever's on top, you know, about what kind of music you can make. It's so different now because nowadays you can get, you don't really need to go through a music label or something to get your music out there. There's SoundCloud, there's YouTube and things like that. I didn't know this was written in the 90s. Kid, Here I go. I like it. I don't know, it's kind of sappy for me. I don't know, it's not really my kind of song that I would listen to, but it's kind of catchy. Do you know it? Once again, have no clue. I have never heard that song before. This Kiss? I don't think I know who it's by. This Kiss. She's like that that really big, popular country pop singer. It's This Kiss by Faith Hill. This is This Kiss, and it's by Faith Hill. It's Faith Hill. That's an artist that I always sort of hear about, especially at like the Country Music Awards. I don't think I've ever actually listened to her stuff. Okay, no, uh, everyone knows this one. I know Justin Timberlake's voice. I recognize his voice. Yes. You gotta do the like choreographed boy band moves. <laughs> and no matter what I do, I feel the pain. Oh, I totally forgot about 90s boy bands, like. Totally forgot that was a thing. Do you know this one? Mm, I don't know. I don't think I know who it's by what it's called. With or Without You by Backstreet Boys? Tearing Up My Heart by the Backstreet Boys, right? NSYNC, I can't put a title to it. Tearing Up My Heart, NSYNC. Tearing Up My Heart by NSYNC. This is Tearing Up My Heart by NSYNC. Wait, really? Oh, uh, I always get them confused. See, I really liked NSYNC too when I was younger, but I always still really got Backstreet Boys and NSYNC mixed up. My mom raised me on the right boy band growing up and it was NSYNC. I started to get more into NSYNC because they had a song on the Jimmy Neutron movie and I love the Jimmy Neutron movie. Thanks for watching this episode of Do They Know It on the React channel. Don't miss out, be sure to subscribe. You're tearing up my heart. You gotta hit that like button. What's up guys, Alyssa here, a producer from the React channel. Thanks so much for checking out this 90s music with us today. If you have a song that you want me to throw in the next episode, let me know in the comments.